hello guys so uh, welcome back in this video we will learn uh, some face modeling tools that is uh, grid fill fill and beautify faces so right now i've got a empty scene i'm going to create a sphere for that i'm pressing shift a on the keyboard and then you get a menu and then choose the mesh and then choose ico sphere or uv sphere so i'm choosing uv sphere here so which has got that nice poles on both sides and nothing to do with the overall model I mean you can choose any one here so I'm going to press tab on the keyboard to get into the component mode and then press 3 for face selection and then I'm going to select few of the faces and then delete them okay just delete them and then the, there are no faces okay so let me select the edges here okay so I've selected all of them then go to the uh, faces and then we have this option called fill so as there are no faces here when I choose this fill option that you know brings up the faces there so there is an option here which is basically beautify beautifies the overall look let's say if if I don't switch it on then you should be able to see the vertices are connected so that uh, the model is you know not uh, preserving its overall form and shape okay let it be so let's uh, exit that let's think okay fill has been done now let, let me select all the faces here so I've selected all of the faces so we have this option called beautify faces so when I choose that you should able to see the overall curvature has been corrected and I've got triangles which is actually trying to preserve that curvature of the sphere okay so if you are doing the beautify faces option here okay uh, sorry fill the faces option here and then if you enable beautify it does that if you have not done or if you got any model which is uh, triangulated mesh and it's not at all neat select all the faces and just uh, say apply the beautify faces that uh, is going to be a separate tool if you have missed out from the fill tool okay so that's what uh, this fill and beautify faces does to you so let me select uh, a few of the faces here delete them i'm going to choose this tool called uh, grid fill now grid fill is basically giving me a, a vertical and horizontal lines so this uh, result is uh, achieved only when the faces are uh, you know quad in shape that means you have uh, four sides and uh, the number of vertices are also uh, decently good if not you don't get that you know, result we have this option called simple blending which is uh, actually fixing this curvature and then we have uh, the, uh, the spans uh, generally it's all about adding more number of spans here but you could able to see in the column basically so if you could see here when I'm uh, increasing or decreasing the columns are getting affected there so uh, I'll just put it uh, to the three and then we have offset so what is offset to doing is it is just cycling the placement of this line so you could see carefully um, this line here and that line so it, it just keeps cycling um, the flow and you can choose which uh, in which uh, cycle the you get uh, correct placements of this line so you can choose that and then um, accept it okay so we have the fill tool we have the beautify faces and we have the grid fill which are basically used to fill the faces which are open